Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Peter and you're watching Peter's Home Project. The first project that I will be video logging here is a build of my new 3D printer. So the 3D printer I'm using right now is this little guy. This is the Mendel Prusa i2. This is like a dinosaur among 3D printers. So time to upgrade. So I want a new 3D printer. Of course I did what everybody does, I started looking on the internet and I found this one. Pretty nice printer, very clean and I love its design, but a little bit too expensive in my opinion. So I kept on searching and then I found this one. This is the Hypercube and it's designed for what I found by Tech2C. So credits to him, but I'm going to build this one. First things that I ordered were these extrusions. Those are T2020 extrusions, aluminium, square extrusions. I have to cut this by length myself, just use the jigsaw for it. And those are pretty convenient. If you have to put something on, if you want to place something on this extrusion, the only thing you have to do is apply something. A kind of bolt in it. Put the part on it that you want. And screw it and done. And it's stuck. And the reason why I like this system is if I, for example, need to replace this, the only thing you have to do unscrew it, reposition it. Tighten it down and done. So the first thing I did was cut all the aluminium extrusions to length. I'm aiming for a print volume of 30 by 30 by 30. So I made this one 50 by 50 by 50. It should provide me enough space to um, put all the components inside. I only did the outside for the moment. Um, I will be adding some more extrusions down here because I want to create a sort of a false bottom so I can place all the electronics below it so it gives me a clean look. Um, I'll also need to add an extra one on the back to attach the z-axis. Next I'll be adding all the axes but for now I'm kind of stuck because my bearings haven't arrived yet. So right now I'm just waiting for the mailman. If you have any questions about this project or why I'm doing certain things in that way and not in some other way, just post them in the comments below, I relay back to you. If you have any comments or suggestions, also put them in the comments below because I know a lot of you guys have the same or similar printer out there and I can use all the help that I can get. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see my next video, subscribe and you'll get a notification. See you in my next video.